recently some of my friends were having their bikes stolen. One of them actually had it stolen about two times for like three weeks, which is crazy. So it made me realize I probably should do something to protect my bike just in case it gets stolen. And what better way to do that than with an air tag? So in a one day build, I wanted to go ahead and figure out a way to securely but somewhat nicely mount an air tag to my bike. Uh, that way it's always there but isn't too obvious in case someone's trying to steal it. So let's go see how I can get it done. First things first, we'll need to get an air tag, so let's make a quick trip to the Apple Store. Then we'll just go ahead and sync the air tag to my Apple ID, and we're set. So with that done, it was time to start thinking about where I wanted to mount the air tag. I had a couple different ideas. I could mount up top, down here with the water bottle holder, maybe on the other side. It could fit on the pedals, but eh. And I've seen people try to mount it on the bike seat or the post, but those can be stolen, so not great. So it was here I decided, what if I could mount it between the head post and the handlebars right here? Uh, there's a little washer held in by a screw, which I'm unscrewing here, and the air tag fits pretty comfortably in the slot, um, and it looks like it might blend in even. With the beginnings of an idea, it was time to take some measurements, both the post and the air tag, and once those were all written down, it was time to jump into CAD. And with the first iteration done in CAD, it was time to send it over to the 3D printer and see what our first prototype looks like. So with that print complete, it was time to see how it would actually look on the bike. So as you can see here, the initial fitment is actually pretty good. Uh, the basic premise of the design is that there's this little wedge here that pops down, gets secured by the screw, just like you can see here. And that allows the entire construct to be held rigidly while the air tag fits in that little compartment there. The first issue with this prototype though was that because of the height of the air tag, we weren't getting quite the flush finish that you see here, where it's also held by a friction fit on the post. So the way we're going to fix that is to go back in and add another 3 millimeters or so of height uh, to the part in that location. That will allow us to have a flush finish, giving more rigidity while still allowing the air tag to fully fit inside of the frame. Editing in here. So I lost a little bit of footage, so we're going to go back and show you exactly what happened. Uh, so, starting with prototype number one, we don't talk about prototype number one, so we'll move right on to number two, which is the one you just saw. Now this guy worked pretty well overall, uh, except for that height issue, which led us to version three, where we fixed the height issue, but then discovered that the walls of the little nub piece uh, were actually really thin. So to fix that, we went in, thickened those up, and printed the final version in PETG, which you'll see right here. Through the magic of editing, we have a wonderful finished print in PETG, which is going to be a little stronger and hopefully not break as easily as our previous prototypes. So we'll give it a quick cleanup, pull out the support material, and then we can see how the air tag actually fits. Looks pretty good, so let's mount on the bike. An installation is actually really simple. You just have to line the wedge with a little gap in the bike, as you see here. Then you slide the air tag in and slip the whole thing up onto the front frame and click it into place, just like that. And after securing it with the screw, you have a finished product. So here it is, uh, all put together in the black PTG. You see it's got a nice flush finish now with iteration four. Um, the air tag is visible on top, so it gives it kind of a stylized look. Uh, but you could easily make a version that has this completely occluded for a more stealthy look. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with this, and let's see how it looks when we go out and ride it. So all said, I think this was a pretty good one day build. I managed to get the AirTag mounted in a nice looking but still relatively discreet way. It's on there pretty rigidly. I've done a couple laps now and have no issues with it so far. Um, altogether, I'm happy with it and hopefully I will not be having any bike thefts like some of my friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. P.S. If you're interested in printing one for yourself, you can check out my page over on Prusa Printers, link down in the description. But also feel free to reach out through my website about getting one printed for you. Thanks!